To understand Ralph Klein is to know this place. Rough around the edges, unpretentious, true blue Albertan in its day, the good old Hotel St. Louis opened its doors to everyone, including, of course, Ralph Klein. Like this was his turf, right? Uh, yeah, this is uh, what you'd call in today's parlance ground zero for Ralph Klein. And you guys really did come here. Like this, it, like it's... <laughs> Almost every day. <laughs> Let's take a look inside. Rod Love was Klein's advisor, chief of staff, confidant, and friend. We were coming from City Hall. And at the Louis, he was all of the above. But this was the City Hall section right here, and this corner was Ralph Klein's corner. And on any given day, down this row of tables, you could see the chief of police, the city solicitor, the director of planning. So who better to show us the place that tells us pretty much what you need to know about the man and the politician? City Hall ended here. Everything up there was all the old East Enders. But remember, this was a bar. And before they emptied it out, it rocked. And we rip up all the streets. I wish you'd have told us where it was. Back in the day, Ralph Klein hung out here first as a young journalist, then as a politician to keep in touch with the real world. Yes, yes. His populist brand was set. A rarity among politicians, what you saw was truly what you got. There's nothing phony about Ralph Klein. There's no artifice, there's no game face, and then uh, when the lights are turned off face. And people can sense that. There wasn't a Ralph Klein at the office and a Ralph Klein at the St. Louis, or a Ralph Klein in the Premier's office and a Ralph Klein who came over for dinner. There was Ralph Klein. To gain financial and political control. Most Calgarians first met Klein on television. Ralph Klein, CFCN News. According to witnesses, his specialty, the seedy side. Drug dealers, prostitutes, biker gangs. The pathologist said he choked on his own vomit. On the city hall beat, Klein convinced himself that Calgary was so mismanaged, even he could do a better job of it. The department is vastly understaffed. So he quit journalism and took a chance. Hi, I'm Ralph Klein, and I'm aiming to be our next mayor. Some thought it was a joke, but not voters. He connected with Calgarians, and on election night 1980, incredibly, he won in a landslide. And a straight-talking, of-the-people political force was born. I drew the, the, the greatest bunch of vagabonds. <laughs> misfits and beautiful people to my campaign who never once said to me I have to work for this son of a bitch because uh, I owe him something the rest of Canada could hardly believe it municipal elections in Alberta have produced a stunning upset Ralph Klein a television reporter with no political experience is the new mayor of Calgary but the fastest growing city in Canada soon learned boom times can attract bad people, or as the rookie mayor put it, eastern bums and creeps. Get the hell out of town. Calgary's mayor had a blunt message for the newcomers club. Mayor Ralph Klein. Suddenly, Klein was everywhere, clarifying but standing firm. Any person with an honest desire to work and an honest desire to make a contribution to a community is welcome, but people who come to rob banks mug senior citizens and snatch purses are not welcome. To Albertans, Klein's straight talk was just fine. By the 88 Olympics in Calgary, he was in his third term as mayor, and through it all, Ralph not only never forgot his roots, he made sure others didn't either. He once, during the uh, stampede, had what was called the caucus of the big city mayors, so he had 15 of the mayors of the biggest cities in Canada, and guess where they were? <laughs> All the mayor of Montreal, Toronto, Quebec City, Winnipeg, Vancouver, he said, we're going to the Louis. And of course, the protocol people are horrified. Oh, my God, you can't take the big city mayor to the St. Louis Hotel. But he did. That cameras were invited suggests it was a mere photo op. But those who thought that didn't know Ralph Klein. So you had the mayors with Ralph having chicken and chips. In 1989, Klein jumped to the provincial cabinet. Did he change? Of course not. Check his response as environment minister when confronted by protesters. He fought finger with finger. Other Albertans went nuts for him. And before you knew it, Ralph Klein. 
He was party leader and premier. Klein would go on to win four majorities. Arguably one of the most uh, successful politicians of our, uh, of our generation. His ability to frame the issues, make them understandable, and get people to buy into his uh, political platform is unprecedented. Years later, when asked to name his lasting achievement, Klein would say paying off Alberta's debt. When sworn in as Premier in 92, it was $23 billion. When he quickly made deep cuts to government spending, protesters became a staple outside the legislature. As the first major Canadian government to do this, he earned his notoriety. But by framing his plan to Albertans as a hard but necessary way forward, as he cut, his popularity went up. By 2001, of Alberta's 83 seats, he'd won 74. Welcome to uh, Ralph's world. There was effectively no longer an opposition. And three years later... Today I'm uh, very, very proud to announce that Alberta has slain its debt. It didn't hurt that Alberta pumped and dug wealth from the ground every single day. So much money, Klein started giving it back. Ralph bucks for everyone. It seemed he could do and say no wrong. When a case of mad cow disease turned up in Alberta, threatening havoc... And I guess uh, any self-respecting rancher would have uh, shot, shoveled and shut up. But he didn't do that. Quotable? Absolutely. But trouble-free? Not quite. I guess uh, the word alcoholic is subjective. I do know that I have a problem. Back in 01, at the height of his popularity, Klein berated some homeless people at this shelter one night in Edmonton. He'd been drinking. How'd he deal with it all? At a press conference like no other, Klein came clean. He admitted it was a 30-year problem. Had it ever affected his work as leader? It hasn't, uh, I don't think it, well, that wouldn't be entirely uh, true. It, uh, it has. When you wake up with a hangover, it uh, affects your performance. Klein won sympathy, but it wouldn't last. By 2006, in a leadership review, his own party gave him just lukewarm support. This after he delivered four straight majority governments. Thank you. He never said it publicly, but Klein felt stung and he stepped down months before he'd wanted to. Through it all stood his venerable St. Louis. By the time he left office, it too had drifted toward disfavor. When they finally shut the place down and boarded up the windows and the doors, of course they had a big party. And topping the guest list, who do you think? And I can tell you that the uh, St. Louis made one heck of a campaign headquarters. It may have been the Louis' goodbye bash, but it was Klein's farewell. So, Premier, did you have a favorite table? Yeah, I was back there in the corner. I can't get to it. The beer flowed, though none for Klein. And for one more night, Ralph and the Louis were back. It's uh, a shame to see this uh, close, but I'm sure that the smell of chicken and chips and beer will linger for many years. We always said Ralph can walk from the Chamber of Commerce to the St. Louis Hotel, and not only can he be comfortable in both settings, the people he's meeting at both settings are comfortable with him being there. Not many people can do that. Hey, Mike, how are you doing? I miss you. It's in part why Klein never lost an election. And though there have been honors aplenty, a portrait in the legislature, the Alberta Order of Excellence, a park in Calgary, and a provincial riding in his name, the most telling may simply be that Alberta will likely never forget Ralph Klein. The St. Louis? Well, it's now set for a swank makeover in an ever-booming Calgary. I don't know what they're doing with it, but they'll never recreate it. <laughs> with Klein now gone, that's a safe bet. Just as it's equally certain Alberta will never again see a leader quite like Ralph. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Calgary. who say, Ralph, you're the premier.
And I say, well, yeah, but I'm also Ralph. Ralph Klein was the salt of the earth. That 2,000-year-old phrase fitted him like a measured coat. He was a man of the people at ease with himself and by temperament, manner, and mind at ease with those he represented. He lived by a plain code. Never forget where you started and the folks that put you where you are. In Alberta, most deeply, but all over Canada, people were knocked over with the news of Mr. Klein's death. He had been terribly and very cruelly ill for some time. Those final days of his were a very hard leave-taking, deprived of those gifts and the great vitality that radiated the legendary personality. It has to have been such a trial for all his really close friends, and especially his family, his wife, Colleen. We may call Ralph Klein an ordinary man only if we admit that there are ways of being ordinary that are a rare form of genius. People sense beneath a joking, light, rough exterior a brilliant empathy, sensed his singular ability to see and feel the everyday of their lives, saw him as a vessel of everyday experience, common tastes and shared values. This is a gift. He had his flaws, thank God. Only one was unforgivable. He was once a journalist. Others, well, he liked his drink and it liked him. But when the affection between he and it became too much, well, he manned up, dealt with it, stopped. That's a hill few of us could climb. He committed more sins against political correctness, and we're past the flaws now, than I have time to list. He was a one-man demolition team for all sensitive pretenses and namby-pamby talk. Life is rough, and sometimes it has to be talked rough. He left some really important meetings to go to hockey games. He had Alberta and Calgary stamped on every cell of his body. He didn't go to the Calgary Stampede. He took it with him wherever he went. To that, he added something magical and really rare in politics. He kept alive and open the real connection, the sense of trust that must flow between citizens, his Marthas and Henrys, and those they elect to lead them. Ralph Klein's heart was a gallery of the guys and gals that drive the trucks or hammer a nail, the man and woman working the farm, they who dig the mines, mount the cranes, clear the tables, and shuttle the cabs. Very few premiers of the people and for the people have that instinctive feel Ralph Klein always displayed. Everyone running for office should follow Ralph's rules. They are, be yourself. Don't forget where you came from. Getting elected doesn't make you better than anybody else. The people who voted for you are at least as smart as you are and probably smarter. And this is the hardest. Don't run away from the people who voted you in and never run away from yourself. Ralph Klein added personality to dreary politics. He passes now to the affection and memory of millions of Canadians in Alberta and far beyond. Kind thoughts and deep condolences to his family and to his wife, Colleen. For The National, I'm Rex Murphy.